Hiya folks, Matt Godfrey here from Pole Fishing Magazine. Now, in the December issue of the magazine, I wrote an article about four different rigs for tackling a flooded river. And after this year's summer, we had loads of raid and the levels are still up now, so hopefully you'll be able to get out on the bank and put some of the rigs to the test. One of the rigs I mentioned was the Pole Feeder, and it's very, very interesting, and I've caught quite a lot of fish on it on places like the Warwickshire Haven this year. The only problem with a rig is, when a fish takes the bait, it's very tight to the pole tip, so there's a lot of resistance there, and especially small fish, skimmers, roach, hybrids, things like that, they'll feel this resistance and spit your bait out without you actually knowing you've had a bite. To get around this, I like to make a little bite indicator, which offers a lot less resistance and gives the fish a few seconds to take the bait properly, allowing you to see a bite on a short pole bristle on the line and you can actually pick up and almost strike into the fish on the pole feeder. To make the indicator, I use two Drennan gripper stops. Thread the first one onto the line to start with and then tie with a simple granny knot a short six inch length of really soft elastic. I use a number three slip elastic, very, very soft in between and then slide the second one on so it's sort of in between the two beads like so. Then do the same, same again, thread two mar gripper stops on and attach the other piece of, of the elastic in between these two and you'll have a short setup with where you can create a bow in the line between the gripper stops. If you then slide the gripper stops apart a long way, tensioning the elastic like so, it creates a loop in the line, as you can probably see here. And the elastic will stretch without the fish feeling the line or pole tip. You can then slide the bristle of, of the flow up underneath it and have it set level with the water, like so. When a fish takes the bait, the bristle moves under the water, you see the bite, the fish feels minimal resistance and you can pick up and hopefully hook a fish. So, while the water's still in the river, we'll probably be getting a bit more. There'll be some snow, snow melt, and pole feeder will definitely be coming into it. Get out there, give it a try, and make the most of this little indicator. See you later.